never see bears. I make too much noise when I'm in the water and all my All right, is everybody here? I think so. Okay, it's hot and yeah, <laughs> we don't want to be out in the bugs too long. So welcome, uh, this is the site visit for Norwich Technologies application to construct and operate uh, the Juniper Hill Solar Project, which will be a 500 kW solar project. Case number is 181730-NMP. I'm Elizabeth Schilling. Uh, I've been appointed to be the hearing officer for this case. Uh, if folks could just quickly go around and introduce themselves, since I don't know everyone's name and folks may not know each other. Uh, I'm Alex Wing. I'm a special counsel for the Department of Public Service. Troy McBride, co-owner of Norwich Technologies. Joel Sittenheim, uh, co-founder of Norwich Technologies. I'm Bob Street, Town of Winds and Tony. Mark the staff is from Norwich Solar Technologies. John Einhorn is from Natural Resources Agency. Hold on, it's Kim Hayden, uh, Council for Norwich Technologies. Tom Morse, Town Manager in Winter. Dory Barton with Arrowwood Environmental on behalf of the applicant. John Brave Anthem on his for Clean Environment. Okay, great. Uh, so the purpose of today's site visit is to go look at the site, it's an opportunity for me and for the parties to get just a better understanding of the site for the proposed project. Um, if anyone has questions for the petitioner or for me, uh, I just ask that we stop and group, you know, we group together so that everyone can hear the questions and the answers. Uh, just a reminder about the ex parte communication rule. Um, so, you know, any questions to me, ask them in front of the whole group. Um, and a reminder, nothing from today's site visit uh, goes into the evidentiary record unless it is specifically entered into the record. Uh, so with no further ado, uh, who's, who wants to take the lead? Um, I'm, I'm mostly interested in getting up to the main area okay. where, um, where the project proposed. Okay, so... Um, and well, if, if ANR has any, I know that there are some of the more sensitive areas towards the front of the the project, so if, if you all have any areas you want to look at in particular, let us know. Okay. All right. So I brought the site plan, um, and I thought, and it's been flagged, the center line is in pink, and the uh, area of clearing is in orange, and the array is in blue. Okay, great, so okay. you flagged it. Yeah. I'll just grab my mouse and throw this in the car if I'm not carrying. Want to do any background on the project? Uh, or you're looking at me? Well, I'm looking <laughs> at Martha. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just thought. Um, so Bob is the one that uh, su submitted the comments from the town. Okay. And he had referred in his uh, in the town comment letter refers to an eco village. And so we brought this rendering that um, is what I can that give you like the on. two second there background about how this came to be. Um, two pieces within the Windsor Town Plan that are relevant to this thing. Um, there's a section in the Town Plan that talks about really trying to encourage development where the town already has an investment in infrastructure, where there's um, water, sewer, those kind of facilities there. There's also a, a strong interest Windsor as half a town is also split vertically by I-91 and right now the Planning Commission doing the whole Act 174 thing as far as siting of arrays and projects has been trying to work on an idea of could we do it and keep everything east of 91, keep the rural areas on that side and really try to encourage it over here where there already are three phase lines and that sort of stuff. So when Joel and them came in with this project originally, the array was like right here. And we had just within the year before that changed the zoning here to be medium density residential like a lot of the other areas are. So that we there's only so much land that's usable in town. And you know, there's water and sewer on the street right out there. This is close to the hospital. So when we put that out and I suggested, you know, pushing it further back, Norwich came back with this whole scheme, which is oriented about correctly. And it wasn't a proposal to actually build this, 
but you know we had suggested god if you push it back to where you're on the slopes that are a little bit you know steeper less buildable it keeps all of this as something that's usable for the town <clears throat> and these guys were great about it. hey you could and it actually would make something very cool it's a, it's an interesting project and you know we started using the whole eco village thing but in a weird way i mean not in a weird way but just the idea that pushing this back to preserve this piece for some future thing I think was the reason the town was interested in it. So, yeah, that's where we pushed. That's why it's not like right there, which is the easiest way to do it. But pushing it back didn't have much of an impact on the length of the connection back to the grid or anything. There were a few little tweaks. But this was a very believable solution to the problem. So that's how we got to be behind the idea of doing this and it fits in well with what we're doing on our other Act 174 planning. So, well, As I said previously, you know, none of this is in the evidentiary record, so I encourage the petitioner to file any supplemental testimony or evidence okay. to this effect. Yeah, I think we'll be doing that in response to some of the questions okay. that we got, so we'll Great. Yeah, Sounds good. But thank you for providing okay. that background. Yeah. yeah, and just the connecting and sort of building on that is that um, we're local. I grew up across the river in Plainfield. Troy grew up in Williamstown. And as a solar company, we view the opportunity with a raise very broadly in terms of supporting as much local economic opportunity as we can. So this fits very well. There were additional challenges somewhat in terms of moving back up and costs and things like that. But the idea that we could work with Windsor in terms of how they're already planning things to help increase their uh, housing um, is something that's very much in line with what we've been trying to do. Okay. Let's go for a hike. Yeah, Thanks, Bob. Uh, sure. Yep. Ready? Go ahead. Oh. Are we Clear, we'll clear your path a little here. <laughs> well used trail. 
mountain bikers? Yeah, bikers, yeah. You're outside. Yes. <laughs> All right. Yeah. It's a fine way to spend it. Oh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 into what needs to get So we're just entering into the oh, wow, okay, clearing okay. area, and then that's the project area. Okay. Same as on there. And so this is the the limit of clearing right, right. here. Right, we're just entering into the green area. Okay. You can see those trees on this side of the stairs. And then there's a back barn. Uh, 
Right. So Let's the array, see. the edge of the clearing sort of runs in this general direction, the clearing. Mm -hmm. And we can, it's your call here, we can either walk straight ahead to the blue lines or we can walk the me? perimeter. Okay. And so the, the blue lines are where the, the, array. the array will actually be located? Yeah. Um, What's your budget? Hmm. I'm okay walking at least just straight to the array. Yeah, that's fine. And then you can see off in the woods in some places you'll see the orange around it. Oh, okay, well. A little bit. Okay. Yeah, we can walk east west. Yeah, west. well, that's what, yeah, I mean, okay. you can. But yeah, whatever. So if, then we'll just keep going in this direction okay. and we'll come to a place like. Okay. All right. We're following you. All right, Troy's got it. degrees tilted this way, two panels and portrait orientation and we're running this way. Mm -hmm. And we're kind of in the middle. Yep. No, it's just straight the up from the middle. This is the very first row. Middle of the middle of, yeah, around we're Vehicle, wrong shoes. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Just got back from vacation, had meetings all day. 
I thought you must have had some important meetings. <laughs> There's uh, about two miles of white trail that the high school kids have built. Who owns this land? <coughs> um, I don't know if Joel owns it or not, but they're buying it from um, an option. Um, a local guy. So that's the edge of the. How big is the parcel? The edge of the clearing there, yeah. Over there. And then 80 acres? Here. Mm -hmm. Okay. It might be even over I thought it was more like 120. I was going to say, I think it's over 100. Uh -huh. yeah. There are beach in it. Yeah. Well, they got a fence and it's off. What's the plan for management underneath the arrays here? 
Brush hog. Just brush hog? Yeah. So, cut flush. <laughs> Not stumped. Not stumped Not unless stumped. there's a, it's in the way of a hose. Okay. Yeah. It's going to be fun brush off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of weed whacking. I'm not going to bid on that kind <laughs> I will say that our, our guys were super happy to go be building arrays today. They like it a lot better than brush hogging. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's still better than right. being in the office. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Okay. you got to get them an air-conditioned cab. <laughs> That's anti-Vermont right there. Air conditioning. <laughs> He's <Yeah>. the canopy. <laughs> yeah, that canopy. Canopy for sure. <laughs> Air conditioning. Uh, I don't know. You guys do your own maintenance and everything, huh? Yeah, we're vertically integrated. Yeah. We do this design, recommend engineers. We have installation crew and then operations maintenance sales. And then owner six left to the way. So people do a whole host of jobs? They do, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's right, yeah. That's good. Very good job for young Vermonters in that, you know, what you get a lot of people Working in solar when I turn 25, because you get insurance and yeah, yeah, uh, do a good paying job. And then we have a number of sort of older Vermonters who can be technical uh, or construction field. Good project manager. Yeah. On staff? Yeah. Where's your office? So we have offices at White River Junction and then in here in Windsor we have uh, a warehouse facility. Uh -huh. We have a couple of Department of Energy grants as well, so we have some research and development. Wow. Can, you can you identify that? To a common moly in any state. No. <laughs> Get a book. <laughs> <laughs> I need people. People well, are so much better than a people book. People supporting the book. Yeah. Because I look at like the bark. I look at the bark and I say, well, which one is that? And yeah, the, you know, the story can look at that book and say, I yeah. it. Oh yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. We have to learn all these specialized words with the book too. Yeah. <laughs> that are only used in plant biology and nowhere else. I don't want to learn those words. <laughs> I just want to learn the, the, uh, the layman's term. back and forth. I say as soon as I take it off, I'll step on the one unit in the woods. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there was a bone there. Yeah. Tom, everyone is in town. I can't manage it. Uh, it'll be eight years next month. We met, I think. You, you live behind the old prison complex? Kind of, yeah. Yeah. You're out there with the total array that they're proposing for the prison? No, I was, uh, at the time, 
we met, I was working for the SBA. And, uh, actually, why did I meet you? Maybe it was about the solo. Maybe I was in this job or I can't remember. Exactly. <laughs> So that that re got resolved well, right? Oh uh, yeah. Green Mountain Power backed off, and <coughs> yeah, that was good. <coughs> I thought we got somewhere we should start an organic dairy there. Or something. There was different ideas, and the most serious thing we got it to be CBD Oh yeah. <laughs> Well, well funded, in a, but I think he was looking for something for nothing, uh, and, and the state just didn't know what to do with themselves. And if he wanted to buy, they would use it. Okay, so we're at the bottom. Uh -huh. Can you wait up for a moment? Is it being hit okay. now, or is it? Like yeah, it's actually, quicker. it's... Uh, yeah. They had a uh, youth management corp there last fall, kind of about 700 uh, native species where some invasive were. Uh -huh. They're hanging it, getting rid of um, some of the other invasives and parts. Um, Probably chervil and stuff. Yep. So much more proactive, and I know they're just kind of getting into the whole thing. So it's been good. Yeah. I don't know what. what is what do you, what's your sense about the loss of that certain facility? Are you happy or sad? Oh, happy. I mean, it, there, you know, there's 85 jobs there, but there wasn't too many people coming to who work there. Yeah, a lot of traffic on the back road. Yeah, and it yeah. kind of, it's, 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 at least for the last 200 years, to say you had a prison in town wasn't one of the big sewing features. <laughs> no. And if they would have just let it alone and okay. let it ride, nobody was looking to close it. Nobody was looking right. to expand. But right. now that it's closed, yeah. anybody starts right. talking about you know transitional housing or more professional work. Yeah. No way. Yeah. Say, hey, we. That's done. Two hundred years of prisons in town. Yeah. Go, go somewhere else. <laughs> that is just too pretty. It is. I thought getting down was going to be worse. One thing that slipped going up hill, it's not going to be slipping going down hill. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Maybe on the way back, you could point it out. So I was just pointing out this first. Right. Yep. Is uh, um, the corner, the southwest corner, and you can see sort of we're, we're standing right along. Bottom of the so this is the downhill edge. Correct. And we were at the uphill edge. Correct. Right. Martha, how many acres is that? Three, two. The split. The, the array. The, the array is less than three, and the uh, clearing is eight point nine seven. But if you wanted to, if you want to get a shot. Oh, okay. Like the array 2.9. A lot of people watch these videos. So. You can send everyone a link. There you go. It's also on EQC. Yeah, okay. Thank you. We originally had the interconnection coming up.
the flatter side would be more It just depends on the the height of Bike trail yeah, marker. Hey, hey. Future bike trail. So this has been on the table since 2017 at least. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's been yeah. there. Yeah, it's been you know, a nice collaborative process.
Back on the trail we came in on? We yeah. are. Okay. But we're going here now. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of <laughs> We've got all sorts of invasives here. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is what Stephanie thought we used to have. Honeysuckle on your right. I spent a year of my life removing um, blackberries. Oh, well, that sounds like fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where were you doing that? Oh, okay. This seems a little tamer. Yeah. <laughs> that drove you to law school? Any? Got poison ivy? No. Tick. 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 Oh. Yeah, check yourselves tonight for sure. I had one when we came back. You did? Yeah. I'm glad you found it. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Bring it up the rear. When the ticks ramp up again, we get yeah. to the next part of yeah. it. It's like yeah. end of September. Yep. So enjoy it right now. Keep looking. But <laughs> yeah. Find as many. A lot in the spring. Yeah. Yeah. Be yeah. The fall is going to be. Yeah. 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 Oh, wait. Well, did anyone else have any questions or anything else you wanted to? How are you going to uh, mitigate the impacts of the mosquito habitat? Did <laughs> 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 you give me that? Too? Bats. <laughs> All right, well, I won't keep anyone out here longer. It's a hot one. Uh, thank you. That was really helpful. Uh, I feel much more oriented to the site now. Great. That was perfect. Great. Thank you. Thank you. So we'll still give a ride. Yes, I will still give those <laughs> right back when I gave a ride. <laughs> I'm just going to leave you guys on the Thank you. Thank you. Well, we've been uh, happy.